oceans. Dozens of other poisons are working their way into our food chain. And now already in our food, uh, especially coming from the sea, we have a lot of poisons. For instance, we have mercury in the fishes. We also have uh, uh, antibiotics in the fish, for instance. And from the fish, it's going to the cattle, who very often now is fed with uh, fish proteins. As the poison substances appear in our food, we've come to realize only too late the dangers that we have created for ourselves. Our generation is the first to have DDT in its liver, lead in its blood, mercury in its brain, asbestos in its lungs, and radioactive elements in its bones. If the average American was submitted to the U.S. Food and Drug Administration for sale as food, he or she would not pass government standards as being fit for human consumption. Perhaps the strangest thing about all this is the way in which man is assisting in the process of his own destruction. It's almost as if we had an unconscious desire to see the biblical prophecies fulfilled. Consider the example of our vanishing ozone layer. It's a rather amazing thing. That ozone layer is the only thing that permits life to have come out from underwater in the course of evolution to exist out in the air. It's the only thing that permits the plants and the animals to live out on the surface of the earth. The reason is that the light of the sun contains short wavelength radiation that is in.